Okay, today I'm going to put this thing in my bob in the whatchamacallit. What's up everybody, I'm Alex Povey, aka Alex Povey, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am back in the Defender, and I just want to make this uh, video uh, about this. Uh, it's a, for the temp sensor. Now, what we did was we took a Discovery 1 engine, 300 TDI, and um, put it in this Defender which uh, I should have videoed, but we're a bit late on that, so we're going to start catching up. And the trouble is, when we've wired it up in here, the cold to hot is just hot. So on the, on the temperature gauge in the car, it's just hot all the time. And I've been on many, many forums, and they're saying, oh, it's this, £3.70. I paid for this they say it's for the defender version now the version in the engine as you'll see in a minute is uh, 12 mil this one is 13 and you do need a long um, socket and we haven't got a very long socket so we're going to make do with the spanner and it is in a tight little hole, as you'll see in a second. So we're going to try this, and I will, uh, you know, get the engine warm again. Hopefully it should be in the right place. If not, then who knows? We may have to start looking at the, uh, the, the, the speedometer instrument cluster uh, temperature gauge. There you go. Uh, on the dash, maybe it needs a new one of them, but I don't know, it's working, it's sending something, I don't know, so we're going to start with this, hopefully in the next few minutes we will cure it, and um, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, hope you can all see this, we're on a bit of an angle, try to give you some scope, we're going here, so... Like I said, just, that one's 12, that one's 13, and then we can compare if there's any difference. Now, taking this plug out, we could end up losing a little bit of coolant, but I don't know, I don't, never even done this before. So I'm only doing what I've been told. And it should, I ain't got, I ain't got a lot of space, just using, just using that, you see. Go out and find your socket set, eh? just for one job. Okay, we took them out, that one's from the uh, Discovery, and that one's the new one, put them side by side. The Discovery is pretty longer. And that's the bottom. Hopefully, this should work. If not, only a waste of £3.70. So, I'm going to screw this back in and but it, it wasn't too bad getting it out obviously oh, it's a bit it's a bit corroded it's a bit of lime scale so let's try this one
So, we're all in place. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start the engine. Uh, let the engine get up to temperature. Let's see if if this alters any any improvement. Might just go the same, who knows? I'm just going off what you guys are telling me. So there we have it, £3.70. And as you saw by them time lapses, well the time lapse just uh on the temp gauge, it that, that was 10 minutes solid running and it was just holding at that quarter of where it should be. And pff, should have cured it. £3.70 don't seem like a lot that cures a lot on a Land Rover, so Maybe next test, we go on a big run and hopefully it stays at that quarter and when the engine, if the engine does overheat, I'll know it's overheating. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe. I'll, I'll keep some more videos coming. Uh, not just about Land Rover, Nissan, I don't know, oatcakes, who knows? So, I'll uh, see you next time.